Let's talk about how to submit data using the HTTP POST method. That is submitting a form where the content of what is being submitted is not visible in the URL. What we're gonna do is build a simple application that takes a social security number and returns whether the number of digits is correct or not. If it's nine digits, it should say, yes, that's valid. If not, it should say no. So let's start by building that application. What we'll do is uh, start by putting in the social security number uh, test as the heading. And we'll have a simple form. This form will have an input, which is the social security number. Now, let's reload this. It just says social security number test and I can put in anything, let's say, and submit, press enter to submit. That submits the social security number and we can validate whether this is okay or not. So what we can do is uh, write a template. Now, in order to write a template, in gramex.yaml, we need to make sure that we specify template colon true. So that will allow us to write the Python code inside the application. So now let's do that. This is the social security number form. Let's say above that, uh, <clears throat> we'll say if SSN is in handler.args, then let's put in a certain code we'll take that social security number and count the number of digits. Um, if handler.args of SSN um, is ha has, okay, this will have multiple elements. We take the zeroth element. And if the length of this is equal to nine, then we say the SSN this yeah, has the is valid may be valid and if not we'll say the ssn is not valid or is invalid and with that we have an application that says ssn is invalid because we have an ssn that has fewer than the right number of digits uh, let's say I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and submit that SSN may be valid. Now it doesn't quite say what the SSN is. So we'll say the SSN, uh, let's assign this to a variable. We'll say set uh, SSN equals this particular value. And this can be replaced with SSN. And we can also say, SSN out here. Now let's take a look. It says this SSN may be valid, but this SSN, this SSN is invalid. Great. Um, let's not worry about the formatting. I have one problem with this application though, which is if there's a social security number this, uh, that is used, it's being passed as part of the URL. So if there's someone peering over me, and I type in that number, it's visible here, and it's visible here. Let's get rid of that. One way of getting rid of that in the input is by saying type is equal to password. So now out here, I put in my social security number and let's reload that. Yeah, now it's no longer visible because it's of type password, but it's visible here. So we can instead change the method to post form method equals post. And with that, let's open this page afresh, type in a social security number. You can't see that. I press enter. You can't see that here, but it says you need access. Your app sent a post request without an XSRF cookie. Try logging in again. What's happening here? If you see this message, it means Gramex is saying you did something that is perhaps not secure and you need to sort that out. What is XSRF? XSRF stands for cross-site resource forgery. That means that anyone can embed a form on any page and that can be submitted into any other page. Now, we may not want someone um, outside of this website sending a request to this particular website and performing an action. 
to prevent that what we do is disable xsrf or or that's exactly what xsrf is meant to disable now you could say i'm not worried about security if i see this and i don't really care about any of these things how do i get rid of it the easiest way to do that is to set xsrf cookies colon false so let me add that uh, in the gramix.yaml i'll say xsrf cookies colon false and now let's go back to this page and type in a social security number it says that's invalid and i type in uh, well let's that's the valid number of course we may not want this to be displayed either but that's pretty easy to control all we have to do is go back here and not display that number so now reload and i type in something and it says that ssn may be valid right but what if we are concerned about security and we do want to make sure that no other site can submit an ssn on this particular page and test it for that let's retain the xsrf cookies as true or you can just get rid of it because by default xsrf cookies are true and what you can do is add to your page a hidden field which has the value handler.xsrf token and the name underscore xsrf in other words just by adding this line to your page let's put index.html and put this inside the form you can put it anywhere inside the form it'll be hidden it won't be visible and now let's reload this application so we use something and now we no longer see this error despite us having xsrf cookies now enabled as true because we have this line it works let's get rid of this line and we'll start again reload the page type something it says your app sent a post request and by adding this line back it now works what's happening here behind the scenes anytime you use handler.xsrf token inside a template it automatically sets a new cookie let me show you how that works on this particular page when i reload it you see a set cookie header here and that sets a cookie called underscore xsrf that's a random cookie and it's a http only cookie i'll explain what that means in a few seconds this means that the server is saying i'm going to send you a unique number and you need to send it back to me and that will help me validate that the form is actually being sent by someone who requested this page in the first place and not by some other external page which never contacted me to begin with this is also embedded in the application so the form itself has the same xsrf cookie and if we type in a oh sorry xsrf value token now if i type in a value and press enter it's going to submit what i sent as well as this token so now let's look at what was sent in the form the data that was sent to the server included the ssn that i typed as well as the xsrf and the server took this xsrf matched it with the cookie and the cookie for this particular page is stored as xsrf here and it says okay this uh, is the same as this and the whole string is exactly the same and therefore this is a valid request i'll allow it if this is missing or this is missing or they are not equal it will raise an exception and say that the test failed i mentioned that i talk about the http only now what this means is that this particular cookie cannot be accessed via javascript if i look at the header the cookie is being sent as part of the http header but in javascript if i try to access it via document dot cookie i find that there is actually no xsrf cookie this is a security measure to make sure that the page can't hijack the cookie 
and send it to some other page. Another feature of these cookies is that they are HTTPS only. So if you have a site that is HTTP, it will not work. In summary, if you want to send some data to the server and you use the POST method, then make sure that you do the following. One, have a handler.xsrf token as a hidden field with the name underscore XSRF sent to the server. This automatically sets the XSRF cookie anytime you use this particular handler.xsrf token inside a template. This must be in a template because if it's not in a template, then the output that you get, let's reload this, will look kind of like this. Finally, if you don't want XSRF at all, then you have the option of saying XSRF cookies colon false, and that will completely disable XSRF. It makes the application more insecure, but it is perfectly valid in several environments.